Hi there! So here is the newly launched POCO F3 GT and I've been using this from the past few days. First thing that anyone needs to know about this is it's primarily targeted at gamers. The design language, the button placements, the display, the charger and even the charging cable. But I'm a casual gamer but I still got completely hooked onto this. I'll take you through the unboxing experience of the Indian variant along with my quick impressions. Alright, let's begin. So here is the retail packaging of the POCO F3 GT. Now this is a 5G phone which is made in India. Towards the back you can see the list of the features. Dimensity 1200 5G processor. Smart AMOLED Full HD Plus display with 120Hz refresh rate. Dual stereo speakers with Dolby Atmos. 67W Sonic Charge 3.0 and some more features. It's made in India. This is a gunmetal silver with 8GB RAM and 128GB storage. Alright, let's unbox it. So we have the SIM ejector pin, a transparent soft TPU case, a USB-C to 3.5mm dongle, the phone itself, a 67W fast charger. This actually stunned me. Seeing a 67W sonic charger was a surprise. I really thought POCO would skip that for a smaller charger and would want us to shell extra. But thankfully, we get a 67W charger in the box. Well done POCO. And then finally, the POCO yellow charging cable. I call this the smart cable. Of course, it's not something new, but it's an L-shaped USB port so we can plug into the phone and continue gaming or watching a video. The quality of the cable also is really good. Okay, coming to the design. Now the unit I have is gunmetal silver and it's a stunner. The design on the back is definitely going to be loved by gamers. Check out those lines. Awesome, isn't it? The back is also made of glass with Gorilla Glass 5 protection. POCO branding in the center with triple camera setup on the top. The flash actually resembles a shape of a lightning. I like that touch. By the way, the camera bump is almost negligible and the phone doesn't wobble when placed on the table. Then around the camera are RGB lights which not only work with gaming but also works as notification LED for calls, messaging and charging. Ok, coming to my favorite part, the buttons. Volume rocker button on the left and power button on the right which also doubles as a capacitor fingerprint scanner. Then there are three mics on this phone. One at the bottom, one at the top and one at the side right in the center. The idea is just in case both the side mics get covered, there is a third mic available. Really smart. Then there are two pop-out trigger buttons on the sides which come out when you slide the shutter. Now these shoulder keys are a paradise for gamers. The buttons are pretty tactile and you can actually hear the clicks. The good part about the shutter is that if you want you can actually use even one if you wanted to. The attention to detail on the design is also really commendable. Even a small groove to flatten the frame is made so we can hold the phone more easily while gaming or while watching a video. The frame is made of metal and feels very solid. Of course, with great powers come great responsibilities. Oi, ye to Spider-Man ki line hogi. But what I meant to say is with a solid frame and a glass body, it does add to the weight. 205 grams to be exact. It's heavy, but I'll take it considering it has a premium build. Then you get dual stereo speakers, one on the top of the phone and one at the bottom. Both the speakers are placed in such a way that if you're playing a game or watching a video, you don't cover them accidentally. Really nice. It comes with Dolby Atmos support and oh my god, they get loud and they sound amazing. Ek bar sun ke dekho. The sound experience is just superb. Pura 3D effect aata hai. Atmos ka full kamal. Hindi nikal gai meri toh. Coming to the display. So we get a 6.67 inch OLED display with a resolution of 2400 by 1080 pixels. We get 120Hz refresh rate with 420Hz touch sampling. Imagine the response with those numbers. I told you, this phone is a gamer's paradise. Goes without saying, excellent color reproduction, vibrant and punchy with deep blacks. It also comes with HDR10 plus support. So watching movies and HDR content is one amazing experience. We also get Wildwine L1 certification, so streaming content from all OTT apps wouldn't be a problem. Then the front panel is also protected with Gorilla Glass 5 and it has also a punch hole camera in the center. Let's talk about the hardware and software. So we get the MediaTek Dimensity 1200 CPU which is an outstanding performer. Very snappy and super responsive. It handles multitasking with ease and it's really optimized for gaming. Xiaomi's latest Mi UI 12.5 running on Android 11. Then we get UFS 3.1 storage so faster transfer speeds leading to improved performance. Bluetooth 5.2, Wi-Fi 6, all the latest and greatest hardware you can get your hands on. 
We also get 5G support on both SIMs, which is great, so you'll be future-proofing this device if you buy one. But sadly, there's no SD card support, so make sure you get one with enough space. The POCO F3 GT comes with 5065mAh battery, and now with a 67W fast charge in the box, you can charge from 0 to 100% in just 42 minutes. In fact, at times, I don't even charge the phone fully. Just 15 minutes of charge gets me about 60% and that's enough to make it through the day with medium use. Just perfect. Coming to the gaming, I played PUBG, oops, Battleground, and the experience was brilliant. I didn't notice any drop frames or lag at all. Though the device did get warm, but not to the extent of being uncomfortable. The side pop-up buttons make gaming such a fun experience. The only downside is we cannot custom set these buttons for anything else apart from gaming. Imagine opening your favorite app or camera or just taking a quick screenshot. Hopefully we'll get to see that with an update. Fingers crossed. Coming to the camera, so we have triple camera setup, 64 megapixel main sensor, 8 megapixel ultra wide and 2 megapixel tele macro. Here are some camera samples. These are some shots taken from the main sensor. Here are some taken at night, no noise or blur. Here are some taken with ultra wide. Here are some selfie shots, pretty wide, clean and sharp. So the POCO F3 GT is a gaming phone with more. It's a device I can recommend even to non-gaming enthusiasts. What completely sealed the deal for me was the aggressive pricing. Actually, smart pricing. The sooner you buy it, the lesser you pay. The base variant with 6GB of RAM and 128GB storage starts at jaw-dropping 25,999. Yes, and this price is till the 2nd of August, after which the base variant of the POCO F3 GT will be for 26,499. And after 9th of August, it will be 26,999. You can see all the prices here. It's also available in 8GB and 256GB storage variants. So you get enough options to choose from. We also get a flat 1000 rupee discount with any ICICI debit or credit card. Pre-bookings have already started, so I suggest you get going right away. I'll leave the links for all the variants in the description. This one is absolutely worth your buck. So I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, cheers.